Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back. Thank you so much for all of the ongoing love and support that you give us. Psych2Go's mission is to make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone. Now, let's begin. Have you ever been in a relationship that you just knew wasn't going to work out? Were there some obvious red flags that you simply chose to ignore? It can be hard to realize you wasted your time on the wrong person, to fall head over heels in love with them just to get your heart broken. But alas, love can be tricky like that. Wouldn't you like to know some of the signs you should be looking out for? Well, here they are. Seven early warning signs that a relationship won't last. One, you're not open with each other. For a relationship to work, there needs to be honesty, trust, and communication between the both of you. So if you and your partner can't be open with each other, then it's definitely not going to last. Do you feel like you can't speak your mind around them? or like they aren't really hearing you? Do they act passive aggressive and never really say what they mean or treat you with sarcasm or dismissiveness? Problematic behaviors like these can quickly lead to keeping secrets, dishonesty, and a lack of trust in one another. Number two, you're not a priority to them. At the start of a relationship, most couples want to spend a lot of time getting to know one another and growing closer with each other. But if your partner is usually too busy for you, even when you've just started dating, then that is definitely a red flag. Do they take a long time to reply to your texts or often reschedule the plans you've made together? Do they always have something else going on that makes it hard for you to see them? It can be easy to quickly excuse this type of behavior, but if your new partner can't make the effort to spend time with you and make you more of a priority, it means that they aren't putting as much value into the relationship as you are. Number three, you run away from fights. Although it is hard to fight with the person you love, Conflict can actually be healthy in a relationship. Why? Because it shows that you're honest and clear with one another about your differences. And how you work to resolve these differences is telling of how likely your relationship will stand the test of time. But what happens if you and your partner avoid the problem and never really talk about it because you're both so averse to conflict? If all you do is run away from your fights without ever resolving them, then you will most likely end up bottling up all of your negative feelings towards each other and grow to resent one another over time. Number four, you can't control your emotions. Does your partner have trouble keeping their anger in check? Do they have a bad habit of overreacting to every little thing that goes wrong? Navigating a serious relationship takes a certain level of emotional maturity. Dating someone who doesn't know how to keep their emotions under control can be exhausting because they tend to be moody and temperamental and you're left to deal with the fallout. Number five, you can't agree to disagree. Another warning sign that things aren't going to work out with a person is if you can never agree to disagree with them. You argue about things endlessly because both of you are too proud and stubborn to ever back down and find a compromise. You always have to have your way. You always have to prove you're right and you can't take no for an answer. And while it may seem fun or exciting to challenge each other at first, you'll quickly come to realize that neither of you want to listen to each other and that you both lack the empathy to see things from the other person's perspective. Number six, you're attracted to other people. Do you feel attracted to other people even when you're already in a relationship? Do you find yourself flirting and crushing on someone that isn't your significant other? Or maybe it's the other way around. Do You notice your partner making eyes at someone else and getting suspiciously close to them. While it is normal to feel attracted to people even when you're already in a relationship, it's not good to feel more attracted to them than you are to your partner. This can indicate you aren't ready to settle down and commit yet, or that you're trying to force your feelings for someone you care about, but aren't attracted to. Either way, you and your partner deserve better than to be with someone who doesn't excite you or can't keep your attention. And number seven, they get jealous too easily. Does your partner want you to spend time with them and only them? Do they get angry with you when you visit your friends? Do you have to constantly text them to let them know where you are and what you're doing and who you're with? This is a bad warning sign. Don't buy into the idea that you should be flattered by their jealousy because it shows how much they care about you. This kind of distrustful and overly controlling behavior is very toxic and it shows that they don't respect your privacy or your boundaries. So have you experienced these types of struggles in any of your relationships? Has any of your relationships ended because of one of these situations? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and share it with someone who might find it helpful too. The studies and references used are listed in the description below.
hit the subscribe button and notification bell for more Psych2Go videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.